problems 14 through 30 are homework. Do next Wednesday. Even I'm not mean enough to give you homework on the big weekend of the big talent show. Is there anybody here performing? Oh, Jenny and I are doing a hip hop routine. I'll be singing Wide Awake. Yeah, you might be singing Wide Awake, but everybody else will be falling fast asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, windbag. At least I have some talent. What are you going to be doing? Epic fail to story of my life in middle school? <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's doing magic. That's awesome, Melissa. Tell us about it. Oh, well, I'm going to... I heard John and Lucy are doing magic. Those guys are amazing. Someone told me they're going pro. They're going to be on TV or something. Yeah, and they're such a cute couple. <laughs> hey, Miss, Lucy, wait up. You're going to take the late bus today to pay volleyball, right? Right? Right. I know. I just... Are you OK? You seem a bit distracted. I guess it's just this talent show thing. I should have been practicing more, but I'm always drowning in homework. Hear that. I gotta go for show shows tomorrow. There you are. Come on, we gotta get to the court for the boys. Where's she going? Are you serious? We won't have enough for our team if she leaves. Forget her. I'm so good I could cover my position and hers. I am! I'm open. Jeez, John, I hope your magic act is better than your basketball. You might actually be the first person in the history of the talent show to get booed off stage. Don't worry about him. He's got a secret weapon. What's that? Love! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Johnny John, you can pull me out of a hat any day. Oh, Lucy Goosey, come over here and I'll make us both disappear. Just say the magic words. Abrica, kiss me, baby. <laughs> Very classy, guys. I always knew you were meant for each other, but really, right here on the basketball court. Uh, sorry? <laughs> Whatever. You actually do a pretty good me. I'll give you a call if I ever need to stand in. You ready to go? I was born ready. In your dreams, Gostinsky. Hey, John, you said you were going to show us a trick before you left. Yeah. Show us how good you really are. Make this basketball disappear. Why don't you give me a real challenge? I'm trying to make a brain appear inside your head. <laughs> Yeah, show us a trick. Yeah, Come on, man. Right what do you think, Lucy? Let's do it. Big, give me your jacket. Okay. Lucy, say the magic words. Go. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. How'd you do that, man? I know you guys have to leave, but, well, we're still going to play, so can we have our basketball back? Look around, Vic. You'll find it. <laughs> <laughs> always make it look so easy. It isn't. We have to practice all the time. Yeah, and Lucy gets some help from Phalangion. Who? Phalangion, my grandfather. He was one of the greatest magicians of his time. He died when I was a little girl, but just before he did, he gave me this book. A very old book with all the tricks that made him famous. He said he got it from his grandfather. A book? Can I see it? Are you kidding me? She won't even let me see it. Why not? Magicians have a sacred code of secrecy. When you tell the secret, it's no longer magic. 
the last words my grandfather spoke to me were, whatever you do, protect the code. If you say the magic words, though, she might let you see the box. The box? As I said, the book is very old. It's kept in a safe box. Can I see the box? Please. It's mine, you know. It doesn't belong to them. Bring it back to me. It's mine. It's mine. What? What? It's my curfew. I have to go home. My mom wants me to go home. It's only five, and you still need to practice for your performance. Your talent show is tomorrow. Hey guys, check it out. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Whoa. I dare you to get one of their phone numbers. I'll get your mother's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dewey. Watch how the big boys play. Well, good evening, ladies. It seems like you're preparing for some sort of dance performance. What a coincidence. I'm quite the dancer myself. In fact, it runs in my family. My cousin is a back dancer for Justin Bieber. He is coming in next month. I, you can schedule to meet him. However, I don't have your phone numbers. Oh, wow. A big, strong man like you has a cousin that dances with Bieber? That's so my dream come true. Will you marry me? I'll give you my number, as long as you promise to call me as soon as you get home tonight. He saw, he went, he conquered. Gentlemen, they were fighting over my number. Read it and weep. 911. You, you idiot! That's, That's an emergency! Come on, what are you talking about? Go.
very funny. Come on, let's get ready. Okay, just like always, you get in the box like a big feet out. And then under the latch and curl up in the top section. Right before I slide in the razor sharp blade, slicing you in half. You check the latch, right? Only about a hundred times. Just, just like, like always. always. Lucy, John, uh, you, you go, go first. first. No, you go first. Well, it's just that, you know the moment at the roller coaster? where you're at the very top of the first hill and the whole ride is just ahead of you. There's no other thing you can do other than holding the hand of the person next to you and you both laugh and scream and take the plunge. Well, that's what I feel like right now. Lucy, would you take the plunge with me? And I have something for you. It's a forget me not, the flower of true love. You've been reading my book. Guilty as charged. I know you're really into the meaning of flowers, so I did a little research. John, I have something for you too. Lucy, that's your. Shh. I want you to have it for good luck, you know, when we take the plunge. Don't worry, I know it's too girly for you to wear, but just keep it in your pocket. Oh, well, uh, this is awkward. Hurry up, you guys are on. Dynamic duo of danger. Everyone give it She was my friend. 
He was mine. John? Of course not! The girl's grandfather. The La... Valagion. We came from the old country as boys. We were on the same ship. Neither of us had any parents. So we hit the streets together, performing on street corners to get a few pennies to get a bite to eat. Wait, who are you? What What happened to the other- Fool! You know very well who I am. But how? Haven't you not learned anything? It is all an illusion. What you see is- What I want you to see. You're my- Grandfather, yes. I raised that miserable pile of refuse you call your father. So why do I look like this? Because I can. I change my form as I please. It's irrelevant. This age, this time of life was happy for me. We were poor, but we were free. Our magic improved day by day. It had to. It's what kept us from being another number in the registry of the public graveyard. He was good. He was better than me. That didn't stop me from trying. It didn't bother me at first. He had the most beautiful... Box. Where'd you get it? In the old country. My grandfather was a gypsy. He traveled all over the country performing in a circus. I never really knew him, but one day he just showed up and gave this to me. The next day my mother told me that he was dead. Can I see it? What's mine is yours. What's mine is yours. That's what he said to me. Hypocrite! When I tried to open the box. It's locked. How do you open it? The night my grandfather gave this to me, I found a note in the bottom. It said, a secret worth living for is a secret worth dying for. I had to promise to protect the magician's code no matter what. But you... Me? We're partners. We are. We always will be. But I cannot let you see what's in the box. I promised. I'm sorry. The liar! He wasn't sorry. He had the box, and I didn't. For the rest of our lives, his tricks were always better. More real. People applauded me, but they loved him. And you know what's funny? So did I. He was my best friend. So why not show me inside the box? Lucy. Yes, his granddaughter. Quite a little timeline we've got here. The master magician and his clan, and us. The also rans. Good, but never best. But now. I've got to get the box. Miss? What are you talking about? What box? It's okay, Portia. In this room, you can say whatever you want, however you want. Melissa, I know you are especially close to Lucy. Take your time. That box, I, I can't believe she died in that box on stage. I, I just can't believe it. Denial is one of the first stages of grief. It's hard to get over a tragedy like this. In times like these, friends need to stick together. I miss her smile. No matter what kind of day you're having, when she smiled, it felt like everything was okay. She always carried around this stupid book about the meaning of flowers. She had it memorized. I don't know why she bothered to carry it so much. Something I'll never forget about Lucy is how much she loved John. I mean, she never said it or anything, but every time you looked at her, you could always see it in her eyes. What are they going to do with her stuff? What do you mean? Her stuff. What are they going to do with it? Her mother is donating it to an orphanage. She said that's what Lucy would have wanted. She gave me Lucy's flower book. Something to remember her by. I have to admit something. Go ahead. I, I guess I was always a little jealous of Lucy. I mean, she was cute. She also had a great boyfriend. And Melissa and I are best friends. But when 
I guess I was always a little jealous whenever they would do magic tricks and stuff. That will always be something I can never be a part of. I guess I'm a jerk for saying that. I'm sorry. You're right, Portia. We are her best friends, and you're not a jerk. I guess we could be a bit clicky sometimes. You know, magicians are supposed to keep secrets and all that stuff. I'm sorry if we made you jealous. Is there anything else you'd like to share, Melissa? I'm glad that... That... Yes? I'm glad that I had the chance to share some of my magic with her. I mean, she was always good. But she really started to blossom when I began working with her. I taught her my best tricks. I even gave her my magic box. I mean, I lent it to her. She was going to give it back. You have a magic box? That is so cool. Okay, this has been a productive session. Now remember, we're always here if you need to talk. In times like these, we need to stick together. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Hey, where did you get the flower, miss? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, looks like someone has a secret admirer. Joni, look it up in the book. See what it means. Okay. Hmm. It might be a mock orange. What's the meaning? It says here that the mock orange is the flower of deceit. It's the flower of lies. Lunch, the most important meal of the day. And first of all, breakfast and dinner. Hey Carl, check it out. There's a fire in the kitchen. I think it's an emergency. Quick, give Kelly a call. What was her number again? If I remember correctly, 911. 911! 911! Shut up! Yes! That's enough. <laughs> you know, it's been two weeks since it happened. I know it's hard on him, but John's got to start eating lunch sometime. Dude, he killed his girlfriend. I know, it was an accident. And people aren't blaming him, but how would you feel? It wasn't my fault. Why did you leave me here? We're supposed to go together. The roller coaster? We're supposed to. We were going to be famous. You and me, the dangerous duo. We were perfect together. I can't do the act without you. I can't do magic without you. You were my magic. Melissa, you scared the heck out of me. What are you doing? I, I was worried about you, John. I guess I just knew you would be here. We have a lot in common, you and I. We think alike. We feel alike. And we both lost a friend. John, we're going to get through this. I need your help. We need each other. There's no one else who can understand. You know what's funny? She still makes me smile. I'm going crazy missing her. And it hurts so much that I can't stand it. And all of a sudden, I remember something funny she said. And I'll just bust out laughing. All my friends think I'm insane. I'm your friend, John. And I know you're not insane. Can you keep a secret? In the morning of the talent show, Lucy came to me. She said something that I'll never forget. She said that you and I are soulmates. That's what she said, soulmates. 
And then she apologized for not showing me her book. She said that there was a time for secrets and a time for sharing, and that now was the time to share. I think she was going to show it to me. To us. Melissa, There's I... There's something else. She also showed me a new trick. Maybe it's not new for you, but it was for me. Watch. I miss her too, John. But she's gone now. You and I, were still here. And I need you, your help, to get through this. How could you do that? Why did you do that? I didn't. Place, a secret place. Come with us. She'll follow us there. We'll let you talk to her, but nothing else. Where is this place? That's for us to know and for you not to find out. I'm not afraid of her. Let's do this. Not so fast. Our services are not free. It will cost you. How much? <laughs> Others? It is their job to round up the spirit. They will find her and bring her here. It's our job to set up the communication. What is this place? Everybody has a place. This is ours. It used to be a storage room, but it's not used anymore. Adrian found a set of keys for various places around the campus. She made copies. This is one of those places. Have a seat. Now take a deep breath and concentrate. I can feel her presence. She is near. Concentrate on her name. Goodbye, Melissa. 
I'll miss you until we meet again. Goodbye. Lucy never ever said goodbye. She always said so long. what you wanted to see. The only thing I want to see is your faces when I get you back for this. I think the principal would be very interested to know where the goth girls hang out in their free time. Maybe we can come to a little agreement. Those keys you found, will they lead to the basement storage room? Yeah. So what? Let's take a walk. When we're done, I forget that you and your little playhouse ever existed. Hey, whoa, 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 come back here. Hey, where do you think you're going? You can't hang out here. This is a restricted area. You know that. Hey, Adrian, aren't you supposed to be in detention right now? It's my fault, Mr. Gaither. You see, I've been having a really rough time right now, and I needed Adrian to help me sort through some things. We needed to be someplace private where we wouldn't be interested. These stairs seem perfect. I understand. I know it's been really rough for you. And it's important, yes, that we help each other out. I'm glad you got somebody to talk to. Okay, you can hang out here, but just on these steps, all right? And Adrienne, you're going to have to make your detention up by Wednesday. Open it. What do you mean? I've hit it, dropped it, tried it, and the lid still won't open. I don't know what else to do. Sometimes I wish I'd never seen that stupid box. Look at me! You, me, our ancestors, we've waited generations for this chance. You must not give up. It makes sense that a book of magic secrets would be protected by secret magic. The girl, Lucy, knew how to open it. She must have left a... 
Of course, the boy. Melissa. Hi, John. I thought I might find you here. I guess I'm pretty predictable. I'm not. What are you doing? Stop it. You feel the same way I do. I've always seen it in your eyes. We belong together, and now's our chance. It's time for new magic, yours and mine. Melissa, I'm flattered, but... Lucy, I can't just forget. Lucy's gone. She is never coming back. It's time... What is that? It's Lucy's. She gave it to me just before she... Give it to me. No. Give it to me right now! Get away from me. Give it! I didn't want it to come to this, John, but you've given me no choice. Give me the pin and get in the box. Melissa! Give me the pin and get in the box! I meant what I said, John. You and I belong together, but you've made your choice. Melissa, no! And now, the book is about to be mine. The magic is about to be mine. It could have been yours, but it's okay. You see, John, I don't need you. Not anymore. What? Where's the book? The power of magic is the power of a secret. When the secret is discovered, the magic disappears like the petals of a flower in the latest of spring. What? No, it belongs to me! No! There she is. Melissa, you're wanted in the death of Lucy Miller. The police are here. You need to come with us. It's over, Melissa. Let's go. Lucy, is that you? I'm dreaming, right? Life's a dream, John. You and I and everything in it. But we're also very real. I'm not just a figment of your imagination. I've missed you. You never lost me. You never will. But this is the last time we'll meet like this. Before I go, I want you to have something. But it's empty. Of course it's not empty. Melissa only saw what she could see. Lucy, I don't know what to say. So long, John. So long, Lucy.